Hi there, Yulin Place, where's JJC Smart? Hello Saul Kripke. JJC Smart is off arguing for the identity theory. Oh, that's right. You two are identity theorists. Let me ask you something. Can you imagine a world where someone has a pain without a brain? Of course I can. After all, the identity is contingent. It might have turned out that pains are not identical to brain processes, but, say, just kinds of immaterial stuff, like the dualists think. But there really are not such things as contingent identities, Yulin. If two things are identical, then they are identical in every possible world. All identities are necessary. If pain is identical to sea fibers firing in the actual world, then they have to be identical to sea fibers firing in every possible world in which pains exist. There can be no possible world where you have pain without sea fibers firing, or where you have sea fibers firing without pain. Oh, I see. I think you're right. I cannot imagine that pains exist without brains, since that would refute my theory. No, no. Hold on. I think you're going about it backward. We can in fact imagine a world in which pains exist without brains, so this fact is refute your theory. Wait, Saul. I agree with you that being able to imagine a world in which pains exist but brains don't would refute my theory. But I now want to argue that we cannot in fact imagine this world. It's an illusion, similar to the way people think they can imagine a world in which heat exists without molecular motion, even though heat is identical to molecular motion. Oh, okay. Please do tell. So if I ask someone whether they can imagine a world in which heat exists, but molecular motion doesn't, they say yes. But they are mistaking something in the possible world that has the same appearance as heat does in the actual world. They see that people in the possible world have the same sensation when they are affected by this heat-like thing as we have as a result of heat in the actual world. But having the same sensations don't imply that the causes are the same thing. In the possible world, since there is no molecular motion, there is no heat, but there is something that causes people in the possible world to have the same sensations as we in the actual world have as a result of heat. Therefore, appearances to the contrary, the possible world is one in which heat does not exist, since molecular motion does not exist. It's just an illusion. Okay, so we cannot in fact imagine a world in which heat exists without molecular motion, even though we thought we could. So how does this relate to pain? It works the same way. We look at the possible world where brains don't exist, and it seems like we can imagine pains there. But in the possible world, people are having the same sensation as we do in the actual world when we are in pain, but they are not in pain since there are no brains. They are having a sensation qualitatively identical to the sensation we have in the actual world when we have pain, but it's not pain. Therefore, it's an illusion here too. Saul, I'm glad you pointed this out. I really thought I could imagine a world in which pains exist, but brains don't. But now I see that I was mistaken. I too was captive of the illusion. Oh, Ulan. You have missed an important difference between the heat example and the pain example. You focused on sensations in the heat example to show how someone could be mistaken about whether heat exists in the possible world. The same sensations occur in both the possible world and the actual world, but it's caused by something heat-like, but not heat, in the possible world, and caused by heat in the actual world. But in the pain example, we have the same sensations again, but you can't argue that pain exists in the actual world, but not in the possible world, since any sensation qualitatively identical to pain just is pain. So any world where there is the sensation that we in the actual world call pain just is a world in which pain exists. Therefore, there is no illusion involved here. If someone claims that she can imagine a world in which pains exist without brains, then she is under no illusion. And being able to imagine a world in which pain and brains can exist apart implies that identity theory is wrong. Up. I'm going to have track down JJC Smart and see what can be done about this. Thanks for nothing, Saul Kripke.